subscribe. Like, comment, comment and, and sub subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs>Misty and I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari, but I also own a brick and mortar antique store in Bedford, Indiana called Wildflower Antiques. Today I'm finally getting around to filming the haul video from the auction that I went to last Saturday. I have it all in. We have a 12 foot trailer that we keep our overflow in. I need to go through this stuff, decide what I am selling in the brick and mortar store, and decide what things I am selling online. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show you is this piece of furniture. Now, this isn't, I would say it's probably from the 70s. I think we're going to find um, a set of hairpin legs to put on it. I don't really like those legs that are on it right now, but it's just this little shelf here um i can it's just this blonde what kind of wood do you think this is dad i would say pine yeah a, a, yellow, pi pine. a yellow pine there's dad say hi hi <laughs> yellow pine uh i just liked the look of it and i think i paid 15 dollars for it so it will be a good piece that i can use for display in the shop it would also make a good pantry piece or a linen Boxes. closet piece uh these two clocks here um, we paid, I think, 10 or $15 for this clock, and about the same for this one as well. Uh, these do well for us in the shop. People do come in. They like them for, um, you know, their man cave or just a bar area in their home. Um, and so we always pick those up when we can. They sell pretty readily for us for about $25 to $30. Okay, I will go ahead and start showing you things that I bought. Now, the way that things go in our area that I live in, there aren't a lot of estate sales. They do estate sale auctions. And so it's a, it's a lot different because when you go to an estate sale, you can kind of go in on your leisure and just pick things, take it up and buy it. You've looked through everything, you've, you've bought in what you want, and then you can leave. With an auction, you kind of have to stay there the whole time because they do things on their terms. So they'll pick something up and they'll, you know, do the auction bidding. And if there's something that you want and they've got, not gotten to it yet, you've got to stay there all day. So it's an all-day experience. But I love it because at the very end of the auction, I stay around and a lot of times people they'll buy big bunches of stuff and they'll just pick through the things that they want to take with them they'll leave other things behind and i'll go and i'll pick up those things and i'll take them and i'll sell them so i stay at the auction all day it's an all-day event for me i spent on everything that i'm going to show you i spent we spent about 350 dollars total at this auction so i don't remember individual prices necessarily so all together we spent approximately $350 at this auction for everything, which is a great deal. So this is the first thing you can see. There's my tripod right there. Hello. This is a, it's a scroll products from Rockford, Illinois. And there is the tag there. I love this. It's a very art deco round mirror with a shelf here and a shelf here. I may end up keeping this. Man, I just love the little scroll work here. So this is something, if I were selling this in the shop, if I don't end up keeping it, I probably will put $25 to $30 on this. The next thing, these, these gyro wood shelves. And I don't think that they're cherry blossoms. They kind of look cherry blossom-esque. It's very, you know, very mid-century piece. There's the tag on the back. And I paid, I believe I paid $5 for these. And then she said, oh, we'll just take them all. So I've got three more shelves and I got all of them for $5. So there's this one, these, this little one here is in that bundle. This is just a little, probably mahogany wood, I believe it's stained. Just a little shelf big enough for a little, a little tchotchke. And then these are also, yeah, these are also the um, Shrico wood. With, these might be cherry blossoms as well and they've got a little bird so i got all five of these shelves for five dollars so basically a dollar a piece um and these these here i probably will list online simply because this mid-century stuff isn't something that's readily seen 
searched for or sought after. That's the word, sought after. It's not readily sought after in my area. So I would do better selling these online than I would in my shop. This other piece that I bought is this really cool chrome bread box. It says bread right here and it has, it needs cleaned up on the inside. It has a little tray on the inside. I have customers coming in a lot looking for bread boxes. Um, that was in a, in one of my very favorite things to buy, which is just a big box lot. So there's just things in a box and that was the thing that, that was in there that I saw that I liked and everything else that was in this box is just bonus. Like this. <sighs> I don't know if this is worth anything and this is now the bread box I'll sell in the shop this is something that I will sell online it's probably not worth much but it's just neat and it is this lustra tile self sticking easy to apply decorate with minutes and in minutes with this 3d tile panels so this is like I guess new old stock or someone bought it and it was just left over they didn't end up using these and then this box is clear glassware and I don't like clear glassware but it is Fenton it is Fenton they are these little Fenton custard dishes oh you know what hang on a minute hang on I know what this is I know what this is this is something that I wanted. This is a Fenton fairy light. Uh, I paid, I got two fairy lights. I paid $5 for both of them. I know, I don't have one of these and I've wanted one. I don't like clear glass and I'm not a real big Fenton collector. Um, you can see on the bottom, maybe it does say Fenton. It's marked Fenton there. These are not, I mean, they are highly sought after and people do like them and they collect them, but realistically, probably 12 to $15 is what I would get out of this one. But I'm keeping this one. I've wanted one for a while. I'm going to keep it for a little while. I may sell it later. This one is, now this one I probably will sell. It's not marked Fenton, but it's a blue one. And the fairy lights are very pretty. When you put your candle on the inside, you put a candle in there and then you put the dome on and then they just radiate and they're pretty in your room. So I don't know, I may, I don't know. I may keep these, they're, they're pristine. Neither one of them have any flaws on them. So I don't know, I'll we'll have to see. I might take them home and keep them for a little while and then, and then sell them. I do that a lot. Do you do that? Do you keep things for a little while and then decide, yeah, I really don't need that. I think I'll sell it now that's kind of the beauty of doing what we do is we can keep things that we like for a little while and then we can sell them these are some things that I picked up on a free table that nobody wanted and they are it says green Greenfield Village Dearborn Michigan and it's just a mug you can see there it's in the glaze there's no marking on it and then here is the little the little picture. They're just souvenir pieces from Dearborn, Michigan, but they are they're they're in great condition, and they were on the free table. So I picked those up. I picked up this whole box of vintage, and I, I this is the first time I'm really getting a good look at them myself. But they are. Here's the box. This, this box filled with Christmas. And um, these little picks, these are glass. They're made in Japan. There's a Japan sticker there. These um, do well too. They just look nice on a display. So I'll put these in the shop. So there's these pink ones. They were all wrapped so nicely in this bubble wrap too. And there are these green ones. These were very pretty. This one, this one's kind of flocked. It's pretty. A little green one. It's like grapes. There's another green one just, well, this one's a little bit different. There are glass. This one's a big blue one. And this one. They probably were used in a centerpiece of some sort. I like the colors. I like that they're not like your traditional Christmas colors. They're very mid-century pinks and greens and blues. 
So I picked up, and I got a lot of these art pieces for like two to three dollars each. This is this beautiful bead work and tile work, and it is a, I believe it's some sort of a peacock. But I liked his little, the tile work on his feathers, on his head. And then he has a little buddy. His little buddy, also no markings on him whatsoever, but it's a little monarch butterfly. The little sequins right here. And then I got, looking to see, these are not marked at all either. But they're on this velvet, and it's that stonework too, and sequins and beadwork. So there's a peacock here. I just think they're great. I think they're great. And this is another peacock here. And this one has thread. This is almost like a patch here. And then all of this beadwork and sequins. No maker's mark on them though, unfortunately. And then this one, the stonework with all these. This is on like a brown velvet. I just think they're neat. And then this one of the butterfly. They're pretty, and these are almost bro like brooches down here. And then this frame is a wooden frame. It's very gold and gilded. And it had this painting on the inside, painted in 1995. I didn't buy it for the art, I mainly bought it for the frame. People will come into the shop and they will be looking for these frames. They'll hang them as accents on their wall or a lot of photographers will come in and use them um, in their photo shoots as well. This one is a plastic frame though, but painting by the same artist. I mean, it's colorful and pretty. It did a good job. I also got several boxes of these cups. These are nice with a wood grain on the bottom. These are also Stanley Home products. Little insulated coffee mugs. And these are Raffiaware. Yeah, Raffiaware by Thermoserve. These are nice tall ones too. Normally they're just the small. Normally they're like normally they're the small ones like this. So I've got several of these. This one is this is Raffia Wear by Thermoserve. So I got three of these big tumblers. I got the little platter, which I've not seen before. It's also Raffia Wear by Thermoserve. It has the lid on it and it has more of these little wood grain very retro these I am gonna sell in the shop I think that they'll do fine we'll, we'll try them out for a while but this has an aluminum pan so I almost think that you could probably put ice in the bottom here and then put that aluminum pan and then you can serve fruit on it for breakfast here is more this is kind of neat it's just it just says it's just made in the USA and it's an insulated cup, but it has this really neat metal handle on it. Well, that's pretty retro. Oh, and it comes off so you can wash it without rusting it out. Well, that's so handy. Cute, but there's only one. I don't know if there's any more in the other box, but in this box, I have these no named. I have to research to see, but they're these little um, handleless stemless handleless handleless stemless tumblers insulated I don't know there are three of this size two of this size they've got they all have that starburst on there that I like and then there are five there are five of these taller ones and there's there are two green ones one orange one and two of this golden yellow and there is the picture that goes with it and I like the wooden handle on it and even the picture does not have a name so they are no name they might have be a brand of some sort I'll have to research them a little bit more but very cool these I'll also try to sell in the shop this box I do believe is the Melmac Remember that? Melmac. Melamine. Um, this is, looks like Brontosaurus wear, but I know that that's not it. What does that say? 
Bonton wear. Can you see what that is? But I got some of a lot of these. I don't know if there's any cups. If there's not, hmm. now this is Texas wear. It's like only one plate. And then these little fun things where you will just put like a paper plate and you can take it camping. And it's, it will hold your food. And then you can put your little styrofoam coffee cup in there and be fancy and have a little, a little coffee, semi coffee cup. I don't know if these are worth anything. Oh, and this is fun. Max Klein. It's like a little portable um, thing for your bubble. Well, that's neat. This little three peg leg. And this cute little napkin holder. This is Melmac. Apollo Melmac. There's just two of those. Lots of these little cups that you would use for your styrofoam cups. And then some full fledged plastic coffee cup. Harmony House from Melmac. Just one plate. The main reason why I like this box in particular is because it had these Bakelite. These are U.S. military issued. You can see on the bottom, Bakelite cups. So there's three of them, and look at how cool they are. Those Bakelite. They're all marked U.S. So there were three of this style of the tumblers I guess and then there are three of the coffee mugs they're also marked US and then this brown color these are all Bakelite also marked US on the bottom and then these don't have these are supposed to have a napkin holder that goes on that they sit next to on each side the napkin holder is not in there I have sold these before in the shop but sometimes you can find napkin holders floating around without shakers. And then these were in this box as well. I believe these are Bakelite handles, but it's a potato masher and a serving fork. All right, so like I said, I think I paid $2 a box for these dishes. It's hot. Okay, so I picked up these. These are primitive pieces, which sell very well for me in the store this is a no it is a sift chine sifter good grief i couldn't think i liked it because of the green banding around it i thought it was very pretty these do very well for me in the store i probably will put about 15 dollars 15 to 18 dollars on this guy as well as these metal scoops do well. People like to just lay them and then they'll put like pumpkins and stuff in them and do displays that way. And then this little, I'm almost said it again, I'll say bad words, sifter is made by Folly. It's a five cup sifter. I liked the aqua um, handle on it. In fact though, I really need a sifter. So this one might come home with me because it's my colors and it's very clean the inside and I kind of need a sister. So that's probably going to come home with me. Set that over there. And then these kitchen utensils I do well with. This one had paint on it. The paint's all chipped off. But people will put these in wreaths. Um, and this enamel kettle has seen better days. But... It's a shelf sitter. People like to put them in their kitchens. I'll clean it up. And I don't remember, again, I don't remember prices on individual things. I know I spent, I spent $350 on everything. <coughs> Egg beater. <coughs> oh, it's dusty. Um, these do well. Any kind of primitive kitchen tools do well for me in, in the shop. This I liked. I got this very early on in the auction. It is a cast um, enamelware piece, little casserole dish. 
I really like it. Um, it's it doesn't it's not it doesn't have a maker's mark on it anywhere. And, but it has this really fun black swirl top and this teal swirl bottom. It's probably a five quart. It's got some weight to it. The inside of it is in very nice condition. So this is something that I probably will try to sell in the shop for a little while because of the weight to it and then try to sell it online. Okay, the next thing is these license plates. My husband picked these up for my father-in-law. He collects them and he needed these dates down here. So he picked these up. We've got an Indiana 1964, Indiana 1963, Indiana 1961, and an Indiana 1962, and an Indiana 1965. And what is the deal with license plates? License plates smell like BO. Have you ever noticed that? You get a lot of license plates together, they smell like a sweaty man. Just saying. Next box. I got this little, I love this. This little, this was also on the free table. No one wanted this little Similac um, powdered formula tin. I loved it. I like the color in it, so I got that. That's gonna go in the shop. Things like that will sell well for me. Um, I got this, was also on the free table. I talked about this in the video, but it is the vintage Kool-Aid pitcher from the 80s. Doesn't have the cups with it, but I'm gonna try selling it in the shop. I think people will come in that are my age and like, oh, I remember that. I remember the Kool-Aid man pitcher, so. He was free, so I had to get him. This also was free and I loved it. It is this little glass shaped like an owl. I thought it was cute. So I picked him up as well as, again, this all this stuff was left free on the table. Nobody wanted it. What's wrong with people? This is some cool stuff. This is milk glass. Um, the lighting is just not good in here. It's made in Japan. Here is the bottom of it. You can tell. I don't know. This chimney does not fit on here, but I always pick up chimneys when I can because I usually you'll find a lot of these little lanterns with no chimneys or as my dad calls them, chimneys, which is what we call them. So I corrected myself and I said, chimney this is a chimney that goes on an oil lamp but we call them chimneys because that's what my dad calls them chimney it's too big but i do pick them up because you can use them as replacements for another oil lamp that you have okay i might not have places to set this stuff is the thing okay I picked these up. I don't know why. They were free. They are made by Dixie. They're these sunflower Dixie cups. Oh, these are these are old. These aren't the sunflower, but they're old Dixie cups. I mean, I don't know. They're so dirty. <laughs> But if somebody has an old vintage Dixie cup dispenser, they might need these little Dixie cups. So I might try to see if I can sell these online. These are the cool, the wax lines. Do you guys remember the waxed cups? These were great. I don't understand why they don't do these anymore because now you get those paper cups or the, the plastic, thin plastic cups and they sweat and they just feel gross in your hand. These wax lined cups are the best. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. I'll try these online. Well, I just filmed a whole, well, I thought I was filming a whole box full of stuff and it turns out my camera died. So let's try this again. This next box I really, really love because it has some really cool pieces. But also this little bowl, I have one of these in the shop already. 
Um, it's marked USA. I think it might be McCoy. Just a cute little, um, like a beehive style pottery bowl. I love these. There's no chips on this whatsoever, which is just shocking to me. But it has this beautiful yellowing in it that shows the age. So this is something that I'll definitely put in the shop. But this next box here, and if I were to be gutting a bathroom and redoing my bathroom, this would be going in there. It's a whole set of this beautiful jadeite green bathroom accessories. So they were repurposed. Someone had, thank God, someone had the fortitude to think we should probably take these out of the wall because someone may want them. So whoever you are, you did a good deed. You did a good deed in the vintage hearts of many by saving these pieces from being destroyed. So thank you. You deserve an award. Anyway, these are great. So we have the toothbrush holder. We have the soap holder. We have the ever so important toilet paper dispenser. And we have the... There's two of these in here. I don't have enough hands to show them both at the same time. But the towel um, holder with the stick. So I'm gonna have to do some checking on these. I I know I know that I could get more money selling them online than I can in the store, but I don't know that I want to ship them because they're so heavy. But I, I'm gonna see. I, I'm going to see. I'm gonna research them a little bit. But they're beautiful, beautiful. I also got this is a jewel tone boutique bag now i was very excited about this because this is very enid collins-esque like the wooden hinged boxes here's the all the paperwork on the inside yeah this this one that the one that's in this box is this one right here the butterfly and it has the instructions it has everything that you need to make your own um boutique bag you put it all together and it has the numbers here and it correlates to the gemstones that you can use on it and it has all of your accessories inside here but there's no jewels the jewels are gone and it has your glue it has your mirror that goes inside it has your hinge it has your uh, handle it's got a razor blade but no jewels so someone has de-jeweled the the jewel tone boutique bag so i uh, I'm hoping that there's still some value in this without the jewels. I mean, they're just little sequins. So you can go buy those at Joann's, can't you? I mean, you can't buy this at Joann's anymore, but you can buy sequins. So I'll have to see. This is something that will definitely sell better for me online than in my shop. All right. This next thing, I don't know. I almost didn't take it, but it was free. <laughs> it's fabulous it's just this um well it's a candle holder it's a beautiful centerpiece for your holiday table dining experience you've got your teal birds you've got your your um little glitter bulbs and your teal bulbs and your teal christmas flowers and grapes you've got grapes or berries maybe maybe they're holly berries i don't know but you've got a lot going on here. Um, it was made by Seidel Furniture in Winnipeg, Indiana. It was free. I don't know. I just think that it's very mod and very... I don't know. I mean, it, it, uh, we'll see. It was free. Maybe I can sell it at Christmas time. This box of... Or flat of baby toys very cool i love this i don't know i do not like clowns i do not like clowns at all i had an experience as a child with a clown that has scarred me for life and i do not like clowns um he doesn't look at well i mean he isn't that scary of a clown but i mean he's still a clown it looks like some baby like started chewing on his hat and ate all the lead paint off of him probably where's his name let me get my loop because my eyes are not working very well today and I want to be able to tell you what it is. Oh, it's Knickerbocker. Knickerbocker Plastic Company. 
these um, I could probably I probably will sell him online he isn't I don't know I could get more money out of him selling him online he is I probably will get 15 to 18 dollars maybe more let's say let's say 15 to 22 dollars let's let's just broaden our our horizons there uh, he's this very vintage plastic he's in great condition he's just like they call him roly polies he's a roly poly clown so i might try him online some of these baby toys just crack me up because we as parents today would never in a million years think that we need to give these things to our child our children like this little thing there's all kinds of little pieces but i think they're like supposed to be little kitty cats and when your baby pulls down and you have to pull rather hard I mean, I'm pulling pretty hard, so I guess you got to give your baby something to work for in life, but it's a little chewed at the top, um, but it's still cute. It's like the three little kittens, the little mirror, and then this little rattle here, <clears throat> very dirty rattle, um, it says it plaking, I don't know, it's a little sweet little rattle. I love these. I used to collect these. I used to have a lot of these sitting up on a shelf. It's a collection that I've like re sold and moved on to other things. But these just this little thin plastic rattles. Um, I still do have some of the bunny rabbits and like the holiday ones all set out. This was just a sweet little lamb rocking horse. It does have. A, does it doesn't say who? Well, maybe it does. Nope, this is also Knickerbocker. So a little Knickerbocker rocking lamb. This little guy is dirty. Needs, I mean, which a lot of this stuff is. Needs clean. I don't see any. Let me show you what, what he is. He's just like a little pleather. It's got a little bell, which we would never give this to our children now because they would swallow that. It's dangerous. Um, horse. It's a little horse. Probably from the 60s, 50s, 60s. No name on him. And then we've got this little, these little stacking cups. I think that's it. It's a roly poly stacking cups with a little bell in it. I'm sure these are choking hazard to a child. So that's on the forbidden list. And they're not. No, there's no name on them. Then we have this little, I love this one. It's also Knickerbocker. It's a little E. My daughter's name is Emma, so I was like, oh, Emma. But this is very thin plastic, and I could see it's not safe. And then this, these are kind of tangled in together. Because every child should have this thing with metal, with a metal string on it. These are, they're little, oh, they're so cute. They've got little Corky the elf and his little face on them. Oh, these are adorable. They're not Bakelite, but they're, I guess this would be like little teething things on a metal string. And then these are actually not a baby toy. They're made measuring spoons. Maybe they were in a little dinette set though, but they're really cute. Some of them are broken unfortunately but they're just little plastic they're all are they all one tablespoon they're all one tablespoon and then this little wooden necklace teething ring maybe it's in the baby toy and then these things you know, you'd hang you'd hang you'd hang these by a string on baby's crib and they would be hours of entertainment this one's a little pig, and a little lamb, a little cat, and a little bear. And they have bells in them. And then, these, these are really cute. I really like these. These are little blocks, a little vintage plastic, just has a feel to it. This one's got a little penguin on it. They're just little alphabet blocks. Duck turtle this has got a rabbit and they all rattle the cow the lamb an elephant 
So I'll wash all these. I probably will sell these in the shop. I don't think that this is old or that old, but it was also in the free area. And so I got this other aluminum bread box. And like I said, I have had customers coming in the shop specifically looking for bread boxes. So I was able to get two of them at that auction. So so that was great. Read, but it ha it's marked something on the bottom, but it's this really cool, kind of cool, I guess if you don't like feet, maybe it's not so cool for you, but it's a love mug with feet. Again, another thing that was on the free table and I'm excited to go into the shop because I have one of these in the shop already. I'm hoping I have the salt because right here's the pepper. Probably have the pepper and I'll have two peppers. But it was free. I love this tulip and this is metal. It's in great condition. And a lot of these are salt and pepper shakers. So I got the whole flat of salt and pepper shakers and I love them. I haven't looked any of these up to see what the value is on any of these, but here's a little camel. And you just take out his humps. His humps, his humps, his humps become your salt and your pepper. You put your salt and pepper in there. That screws off. Look at his face. I love derpy things. Okay. So him. And these were interesting to me too. They are A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Salt and pepper shakers. In this really mod pink. Does that say Rubbermaid? If this says Rubbermaid, then this is an early Rubbermaid. Probably from the 80s, I'm guessing. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started with this other box. I'm telling you what, guys, it's hot out here today. Okay, so I have this other box of fun goodies. I've showed you the camel and this guy. Then I have this, this just a little planter. This, again, I don't remember. I, I, some of these came on the free table. Some of them were just in a box lot. And so I don't remember exactly how much I paid for each of these. Let me use my, I'm pretty sure this is Czechoslovakia. It's very, very faded. I can't tell, but it's just this cute little planter here. It has no chips or cracks or anything. I'm gonna say it says it looks like Creed or Greece, made in Slovenia. Maybe you guys can help me out there. There, a little bit. It's very, very pretty. It's just this little planter. Got that. This just made me laugh. This is made by, it's made in Japan by Apco. And it's the three bears that lived in this little, very much like the Smurfs house to me. It's what it reminded me of. It's just this cute little, there's the three bears. And you see Goldilocks lurking in the corner right there. There she is. Um, this has no damage on it either. I don't even know what this really was made for. It's just a cute little figurine piece. So I got that. Again, there's no chips on that But one. that is it. Dad, you want to come in here and say hi? Come in here and say hi. Say hi. Can't I? No, you have to come in here. Dad came to the auction for a little bit. You just turn around. You just got to look right here. So Hi, he came to the auction for a little bit. What was your favorite thing that we got? Oh, I like all the smalls. You stuff. like all the smalls. So it was a good, it was a good auction. And That's we're going to start going to more of them. I am going to start going to auctions more regularly. I think that people, I've had a lot, a pretty good response to people liking the auction videos. So I'm going to hopefully start going to them weekly and filming and putting out a weekly auction video. Even if I don't go and buy things every time because I, I, I have so much stuff. I, I need to be very picky. But at least going and showing you things that are available will might be something that you might want to do. So. I will go ahead and end this video now. Dad, what should they do? Should they like, comment, and subscribe? Yes, absolutely. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, comment and, and sub <laughs> subscribe. And uh, I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Say bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. <laughs>